A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to Survival of No Limits. Oh, no you don't. Well... Yeah, of course. The winds are coming back, and if you can hear it, then well... I don't know how to say this, but... These days, they are getting a lot better. And not just better by climate standards, because after all, throughout most of my time here when it comes to prepping episodes for Survival of No Limits, I will say that in this regard, it's been quite a journey so far, but of course, probably one of the biggest points that I have to say at this point is the fact that, well, as we're approaching March, I gotta say, the climate's really improving right now. Apparently, it's getting a little different as apparently we are in fact going to be having some warmer weather from this point going on, but I will say that I am in fact the type to really endure these kind of conditions. So it's the one reason why I have this kind of clothing out here. And more importantly because it's been getting very sunny, that's just another reason why I certainly would want to come back here and take up this opportunity to do some more episodes here for Survival of No Limits. And as a result of that, here we go. This right here is another pretty big subject that we have going on, even by today's standards. What I'm going to be talking about specifically is the obesity epidemic. Because after all, even though here in 2021 we are in fact labeled as being one of the fattest countries in the world, it's safe to say that just a few decades ago we were in fact labeled as the first fattest country in the entire world. Yeah, my childhood was pretty much riddled with that kind of epidemic right there. It was riddled with that kind of people. It just goes to show that the fast food industry had really become one of the biggest things to ever occur within American culture. It also goes to show that no matter what we try and do with our health, we can never truly escape the corporate BS that aligns with much of our economy in many ways. A lot of these companies are really profiting with billions and billions of dollars in the marketplace, just like in the ways of how most movie production companies out there, such as Pixar and Disney and Marvel Studios and a handful of others, they've also been profiting billions of dollars a year now. As a matter of fact, Disney alone had reached more than $10 billion in the global box office throughout the whole year of 2019. That's a record right there. And because I worked with the Marcus Theaters Corporation during that time, I was able to witness just about everything that had occurred during that time. 2019 alone was a pretty big year for new productions in many, many ways. There were a lot of reboots, sequels, adaptations, and otherwise that have taken place, along with some original products here and there. But the obesity epidemic is pretty much one that we will never forget about. And I'm talking about this specifically because of the fact that, well, even though the last 20 years or so we've really been managing our health in many ways possible, we've still clung to the very edge. That is what the obesity epidemic pretty much left behind. It made us a laughing stock for the time being. It turned us into a pretty low intelligent country in a way. And that was also because most of the time our schools were having a lot of trouble keeping up with their upkeep. And most of the time we were in fact having a lot of struggles trying to get our own children to go to school. But I will say that because of the many, many great things that President George W. Bush had done during those years of my childhood, I was really able to look up to this country as being quite a big thing to ever happen in my lifetime. But in recent years, I've never really held on, held on to that. And the reason for that being as well, even though we've been doing a whole lot better now as a society, it just seems that even with the best that we have in store, it almost seems like we can never truly escape what might actually happen. As a matter of fact, there have been a lot of sources that claimed that most 
democracies, governments, and countries as a whole could fall under communist reign in just 250 years. Seeing as we're only five years away from something like that actually happening, and because of everything else that's been going on the last three to four years, I can say for sure we might actually be bound for some sort of downfall like that. A collapse beyond anything we might have actually encountered throughout our lifespan. And I gotta say though, 21, 22 years I've been around and I still feel like that even to this day we really could get a kick out of what we could possibly get our hands on. There's been so many technological advancements that have taken place and so many other things that have happened throughout history, it really makes us wonder, why would our country fall victim to something of that sort? Well, I'm going to be true to you. As an American liberal, I might as well explain the whole entire truth out to everyone out there. Because the economy itself had been going under enormous struggles. If you don't remember the crash of 2008, then that is pretty much a good start because it was one of the worst things that might have ever happened in history next to the Prohibition era, next to the Civil War, next to racial inequality, next to, well, the Great Depression, and next to every single world war that we've had with a lot of people throughout the world. There's been so many things that have happened. It almost makes us wonder exactly what in the world are we going to be doing for our future? Well, you know what? Come July 4th, 2026, when America turns exactly 250 years old, we just might find some answers that we're looking for. The answers to the questions that we've been asking for decades now. But I gotta say, looking back at what the obesity epidemic has taught us about, We've really managed to reshape ourselves based on different health campaigns and also to at least assure to those corporate yes, stockholders and the like that those restaurants really need to get a hold of the health factor. Otherwise, this country might fall victim to a lot of pain and a lot of death. There are in fact dozens of ways that people could die just by eating fast food. Aside from the typical heart attack, stroke, depression, anxiety. You might just encounter a lot that you never really thought might actually be possible. Impaired fertility, diabetes, and a hundred other things that I could probably talk about, but I'm not really going to because even today, we still have a lot of people out there that are always struggling. I, admittingly, also have had a time where I've struggled. But throughout the last six, seven months or so, I've really reshaped myself. And well, you could probably tell just by looking at me right now, compared to how I looked last year, that my body is in fact going through some sort of transformation. Physical and emotional, and probably even mental. So of course, with all those factors that are put into place, my suggestion would be for America to be who they want to be, but don't let your reputation get in the way of your progress. And so, that's pretty much it right now, but starting tomorrow, I feel like that we are in fact going to be having some different weather difficulties, but I'd say this is a great chance for me to go ahead and start pre-recording this stuff just so I'm at least sure of what I can do for the future. So if you want to go ahead and see more go down on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.